Hey gamers, Gaming After 50 here, and welcome to version 1.0 Stable, brand new series, we're calling this one Exile. The premise is, we've been exiled out of wherever we were, our comfortable little life, and dropped in the middle of nowhere. Now if you're new here, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. We are on the pre-gen 8k2 map, so everyone can play along. Here's a look at our settings. This is a solo game, we're going to be on Warrior. 60 minute days. We're going to set the Blood Moons to 10 days. Everything else is default normal except for max zombies. Air drops every 3 days, mark air drops on, otherwise we lose them. Player block damage I've got turned up to 200%. Everything else is default except for the daily quest progression limit which is 8. I don't want to limit us at all. We don't have to max out our quests each day, but we can if we like and do as many as we can without uh, not being able to. First thing you want to do is hit Y and open up this window and then hit W. That will open up this quest line, and up here in the top right corner, it tells you what you need to do. So, we're going to need to gather plant fibers, wood, and small stones. However, we are going to pick up nests. We're going to get more plant fiber than it wants us to. The little markers tell you where there's wood and stone. I notice we're fairly close to this POI. Okay, we gotta get wood and stone. Which one is this? Delta. Okay. Get wood from those bushes and from these little sticky bushes. Okay, now we just need to pick up some stones. Alright, hit your tab key, make your stone axe. Read your note. It says, just a friendly reminder, da 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 da, apparently we shafted somebody, we shafted the duke. So, he dumped us, took all our stuff, left us a note. And, uh, somehow we have this stuff, but we do. Okay, now we have to harvest wood. That means we can't punch it, we have to use our axe. What I like to do is get more wood than it says. I like to put the wood down here so I can see how much I have. I like to knock down the first tree completely. It gives us a bunch of wood, and then we can make a bunch of arrows without having to get wood in the meantime. There. You can plant the seeds if you like. I like to get rid of the first two. Okay, now we have to harvest stone, meaning we have to bash a rock. We can't just pick it up. There's a rock. Alright, primitive outfit. Wear the primitive outfit. Wooden club. Primitive bow. Stone arrows, see? We picked up those feathers from the nests and we were able to make a bunch of arrows. And we still have a lot of wood left and stone. Open the challenges window, hit Y. And all these are done, you can hit W and redeem them. Right, and it'll show you where the traitor is. Oh hey, White River Citizen. This is the other faction. The Duke is one, Noah is the other. Proved to be capable because we can punch grass, so he's gonna help us. If we can get to the traitor, he's gonna help us. But we gotta get there. Traitor's over there. Let's just see if there's anything we can steal here without getting killed. Should probably spend our skill points we get four. This is what I do with them. A lot of people are going to disagree with me, and that's fine. I like to put one into lock picking, the second one into intellect, one into grease monkey, and the final one into hidden strike. That's to start. The lock picking. Don't need seeds right now. We got a book. Knuckle crafting skill. Yeah, knuckle wraps quality too. Not... Time to go. We don't need to fight these guys. Now on the way to the trader, what I like to do is gather a bunch of everything. Pick up the rocks, smash some things, gather nests, and hammer down stumps. There's a small chance to find honey in stumps. See, we got one there. 
and honey will cure 5% infection if you get smoked by a zombie or a, zo or a zombie dog. There's a good chance you're going to get infected. If you don't cure that infection, it will kill you in seven days. That's the name of the game. So honey's good to have. You can take it right away after you get infected and it'll cure it entirely. Hey, we got another one out of that. The other fun thing is if you hit Y, there's a second challenges tab. And there's a gathering and farm or a bunch of things you can do. Keep an eye on those. Oh, hey, we've done this. Purchase any skill. Okay, yeah, that's when our, our points and use a magazine. We've done that. That'll give you XP and a bunch of things. This one here, harvest honey from stumps, five. We've got two of five. All right, let's move. I like to get to the trader with as much stuff as possible as soon as possible. The other thing I like to gather on the way to the trader is these white plants, these cotton plants. Each one of these cotton plants will give you one cloth fragment. The way they've done this game, cloth is at a premium. You need 10 cloth to make one duct tape, and duct tape is used in pretty much everything except for food. So hit those plants. See, we got six of them. Cloth fragment gives you six cloth fragments. I'd like to gather more. Oh, the other thing I like to do fast is find a roadkill and see how many bones you get. Five bones, you can make a bone knife. A bone knife is good for harvesting animals that you've killed. It's also a nice weapon early on. All right. How many more arrows can we make? Bunch of them. We're going to need more rocks. Thought I saw a zombie down there. Oh, I did. The level one bow is a little janky, but it's a nice early weapon. Go for headshots. No use wasting your stamina on anything else. And press E to get your arrow back. Sometimes you get it back, sometimes you don't. Okay, we are looking for more cotton because we only have six. We're looking for more rocks. And we're always looking for nests. Nests can give you feathers and eggs. You can eat the eggs raw. They don't give you much food, but they do give you food and a tiny little bit of health back. And there's no chance of getting sick from them. See, they give you five food, they'll give you two health back. Oh, garbage. There's going to be random garbage around the map. Take whatever's in them. Those half-eaten sandwiches can be valuable early on. If you take a vitamin first, you can eat them without getting sick. Late game, you can use them to make antibiotics. But that's very late game. There's another stump. No honey from that one. Running through trees can be a bit of an adventure. There could be any number of things hiding in them. Checkpoint. Who's in the tent? You can take the tents apart. Oh, little buddy. You can take the tents apart for some cloth. Always advisable. Steal those wood piles wherever you see them. Watch these little guys. They have quite a lot of health and a really far reach. There we go. I want your tent. Take the coolers. Coolers are made of plastic, and one of the first things you're going to want to make is what's called a dew collector to get some murky water. And those take a hundred of those plastics, so you're going to want all the plastics you can get early. This checkpoint, you can get plastics from these cones too. Dead guys, take them for the bones. You need bones for glue. Repair kits, that's nice. Once we find a wrench, we're going to need that scrap down the chairs. This checkpoint is a little more involved than what we're prepared for right now, but we can steal what we can. Nice, a vehicle book. More garbage, plastics, duffel bag, another first aid bandage. That's great. Oops. Check all the vehicles. You can find really good stuff in vehicles. Another vehicle book. We've got three duct tape already. Uh-oh. Somebody's sneaking up on us. Oh, hey. Okay, let's go find that trader. These police cars are locked. 
Once you get lockpicks, you can break into them and get the good stuff inside. If you bash it open with a tool, it will spawn a bunch of zombies that are tougher than the ones you're currently fighting in the wild. So until you're armed, it's a really good idea to unlock them instead of bashing them open. Some gas. Hey, we're a little encumbered. We can fight this guy. Right click is power attack, left click is normal attack. Go for the head. The trader's over here. He's gonna send us on a buried supplies quest right off. He's gonna give us a little shovel to do it with. We're gonna go do that and get it done as quick as we can. Oh, hey. Just kind of scoot along here looking for a place that we might want to call home. We're going to take Moe's wood. We turn those into cloth fragments to reduce our encumbrance. No, nope, he's on to us. Pipes, always good. There. If you get him with the knife, he'll eventually bleed out. Well, there's the roof of this place for a temporary base. That garage is nice. It has zombies in it. There's some books here. Always looking for books. And polymer. Okay, let's find that trader. We can come back over here when we're not so laden down, you know. Polymers is complete. Let's open that up. There it is there. Redeem that for a little bit of XP. I'm not getting the render distance I'm used to, so I guess we're just going to have to go there and see what's over there. What's this? Seed crafting. We can make cotton seeds. Probably a good idea to have a small cotton farm. Or a large cotton farm, as the case may be. That's a nice building, but the roof is half blocks, and those are a pain in the butt to deal with. There's a fairly useless water hole. You cannot gather water in this game. You used to be able to, but not no more. There's the Hogzilla Ranch, good for meat. It's also got a mailbox. Oh, there's Big Boy. Do we want to fight him? Probably not. What's this? Shotguns, 20% less degradation. Nice. Chrysanthemum seed and some gas. Oh, dude. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll go in here. In the trader. Here's our trader here. It's always going to be trader wrecked. Mr. Sunny Side Up himself, let me tell you. This guy, he's a piece of work. Search all of his stuff. We're going to rob his compound, but first we're going to dump some stuff off in this truck. What's that? Medical journal. What's this? Oh, 10% more dukes and cash and safes, cash registers, and ATMs. Nice. Let's dump some of this stuff in here. Paper, the gas. We're not going to need the gas right away. Duct tape, plastics, and pipes, we will. Okay, fucker. You respect the shop rules and we'll get along. I got some shit work. Don't just stand there with your thumb up your ass. Get the job done. What'd I tell you about his personality? Isn't he great? Take a look, buy some shit, and get the hell out. He's got inventory. He sells a lot of food, this guy. He also has books. Well, the books we're after. Get your ass to crack a book, cause you're dumber than dirt. Yeah, well, thank you, Wrecked. The books we're after are called Forge Aheads, and we're after vehicle books, too. Nice, there's a little... Yeah, we've only got the chest armor. I want to make some more. I want to make the gloves, the hood, and the shoes. And we can put that cooling mesh mod into one of the other pieces of armor. Gives us a little bit of explosion resistance. And it helps us when we... 17 cornmeal. Good lord. It helps us when we get to the desert. You can't pick anything up in here. You can only open stuff. Check the cement mixers. We got lucky. There's a forge ahead. We can make our dew collector. 
There's going to be a food pile in this cabin. Burnt meat and red tea. Oh, wait, I didn't check and see if... Uh... Yeah, sometimes that dresser is searchable. There's nothing in here. We'll see what he keeps in his truck. Gas and oil, practical man. There's another forge ahead. Some brass, and that should be it for his compound. He's got a few things inside that you can steal. His compound is zombie-proof. They can't bash through it. So you're safe as long as you're in here, provided you shut the doors. There's murky water. That's got to be boiled before it's used. Even for glue, and I don't understand that. Motion detection devices will not recognize you for three seconds while sneaking. That doesn't matter at all in single player. If you're playing multiplayer PvP, then that's important, but not here. If you break it, you buy it. Shut up. Okay, let's just dump some stuff in here. Keep the burnt meat in there. Make some more arrows. All right, now those books give you points. We've been picking up the forge ahead, which is workstations. So in two more, we can make a forge. In one more vehicle book, we can make a bicycle. But we need a workbench to be able to make the components for the bicycle. And we need seven more of those forge ahead books to be able to do that. Now, where is that job? The thing about the traders is they have doors on all sides of their compound. We've definitely taken the cotton. We're going to need at least 50 cotton to make, uh, to make our forge and our dew collector. There's an iron node. Once we get our forge up and running, that's going to be important. Nice. More cotton. That's the noise it makes when you get in range of your active quest. What's over there? There's something over there. What is that? Oh, the journey's end. Yeah, yeah, the Wilderness Lodge. I think that's like a tier 3 or tier 4 POI or something. There are things we can go over there and steal, but there's also a dog, and we're not equipped for a dog right now. Click that thing, it'll make a circle. This is the easiest buried supplies you'll ever do, just dig down in the middle. Get four layers of this easy dirt, and then you get the stone layer. Hitboxes are a little wonky. For this first one, every five blocks you break, the circle will contract. And there is our buried supplies. As soon as we open that, something will spawn. Probably one zombie. In an actual buried supplies, you're going to get a bunch of them. And they will have a chance of spawning every time the circle contracts. As well as when you take the box, so. Get a weapon. This first one is always garbage. It's always a half-eaten sandwich, the rotten meat, one murky water, and the supplies Rex sent you to get. Oh, there's the zombie it spawned. Usually they come running at you. You don't have to fight her. You can just run away and you'll lose her eventually. There. Now, little... Exclamation point over by the trader tells you where to go to get paid for that. You can also use your knife to harvest cotton and plant fiber and all that good stuff. Check the garbage. Half-eaten sandwich that I'm going to keep. I usually throw those out, but we're going to keep that. Nice, armored up. We can make primitive armor quality too, and we might just do that. How many plant fibers have we got? 15, that's not enough. 31. Oop, I don't want the chrysanthemum yet. Not until we can make what's called red tea. Okay, what can we make? Gloves, hood, outfit, and we need one more plant fiber for the shoes. 
There. Let's take that mod out of there. Put it into here. Into one of the level two things. And just scrap down the level one. All right. Now when we go back and get paid, he's going to give us our choice of what we call a pipe weapon. We're going to take the pipe machine gun. It's the less sucky of all the pipe weapons. Put stuff in here. Now we got a little bonus for scrapping something, did we? Oh yeah, look at all these. Kill five zombies. Done. Scrap five items. Meat trader wrecked. I'm happy they give you something for that. Harvest rotting meat. Okay, great. How many plastics have we got? 74, hey? Okay. Great. Here you go. Pipe rifle, shotgun, machine gun, place. pistol, or a baton. Machine gun, the pipe machine gun. Yeah. See what he's got for work. I got work to do if you don't mind getting your whatever. This Most grocery, the passing gas Nobody. number eight. I'm gonna make you an offer. Old you creepy can't church. If you want a job from me, Presley dwellers. Do what you told, asshole. I used to know what that was. You I don't anymore. Happy. Oh, look who's tired of eating that. Okay. Out of your goddamn mind. Look, blockhead. I'll give you some work. But you better. Well, here he is. I got work to do. If you, I'd say it's been an honor. We're gonna take that passing you, gas. But it would be a lie. How much money did he give us? None. Let's open up this bundle. There's our pipe machine gun, and he gives you one mag worth of ammo for it. All right. I believe that passing gas door is the one we rolled by on the way in. Yeah. We're just gonna set up on the roof there for the night. So we're going to take all of our stuff, except the paper, and waddle our way over there. Where are we going that way? See that doghouse? That's indicative that there's probably a dog around there. You want to avoid those early game. They will chew you a few new holes. You'll use all of your ammo, and you'll probably die anyway. Hmm. An engine. That is valuable. I'll explain why later. Another vehicle book. We can make bicycle. We just got a level 2 pipe machine gun. So what I'm going to do... That does a little bit more damage. I'm going to modify this. Complete. What, what modification does is take the ammo out. And we are going to load that one. There. We're going to carry our knife. Go back to that gas station. And we're going to dump our stuff off and clear it out because we're going to set up on the roof. Check cash registers. That one's open. We'll loot all this stuff when we have capacity and time. But right now I want to check a few more mailboxes. I want those Forge Ahead books to be able to make a forge. We are obscenely encumbered right now. Okay, here is our quest POI. We're just going to make a box out here on the street. Got to make it outside the POI, otherwise it'll reset when we start the job. Little thing called double looting. You can take whatever's outside the POI. Some people like to do the whole POI. I see no need for that. Check and see if there's gas. There isn't. If you have a wrench, you can get snowballs out of those things. We don't have a wrench yet. Okay, what are we doing? Clearing. There's two of them in here. See the red dots up there? There, there's one. Here's the other one. Now what it wants you to do is go back here into the back 
we don't want to do that right now. See, because there's a doghouse. There might be a dog back there. What I think we're going to do is make what we call building blocks. And get up there a different way. Press R, you can cha change the shape of your building block. I'm just going to make a ladder and go up there. There shouldn't be anybody up on this roof. I don't see a dog. He's usually curled up down there. Oh, I do see a zombie. Any more of those? Okay, that should be it for there. There's a little ladder here. Yeah, I don't see a dog over there. Okay, no dog today. Got my arrow? Yes, yeah, she does. Okay, now there's more down there and this thing collapses. Uh, a bunch of little buddies. But he's thirsty. If Buddy gets thirsty, give him something to drink. Might as well feed him too. Alright. Hmm. These guys have more hit points than they need. arrow there, buddy. Hey, so we're done. Here's our end loot. Nice. Off-road headlight mod schematic. What else did we get? Salvage tool. Little ammo pile. Shotgun shells. Some armor parts, which is really nice. Two more bandages and spear hunter. I didn't see what that did. What does that do? Spears have 25% chance to cause bleeding damage. I would think a spear would pretty much be guaranteed bleed, but there you go. Oops. Take the plastics. Always take the plastics. See? It collapses. Okay. We're going to leave our stuff here. We're going to run back to wreck. Get paid. There's another vehicle book. There's a handgun magazine. Pipe pistol quality too. Oh, hey. There's more polymer. We haven't cleared out the inside yet, but that's okay. There's another vehicle. Some more gas and salvage tool. Just gonna leave our stuff in here. Okay. Alright. Um, do we have any... Yeah, we do on the street. Plant fiber. Just want to lay down a bed roll there. Make sure it covers doggo corner. There we go. Let's go get paid. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Sprained leg for 10 minutes. Do we have any points? We do. We have one. It's going to go into intellect. As soon as we can get this, we can have uh, physician level one splints and cast cure sprains instantly. So. That into there. Oh, hey, we can redeem all these things. Not enough XP to get a, a point. Put another ladder on this side. Yeah, so much for sprinting, hey? 
dude. Okay, well, maybe we'll get paid for that in the morning. Go back and take another job from him then. Do collector. One more duct tape. Do we have the glue? I'd like to get a cooking pot also. Make a couple of crates up here. All right, we're looking for glue. There's two right there. How are we on our forge? Two more books for the forge. Let's make our dew collector. Dew collector. 100 plastics, 4 pipes, and 4 duct tape. Oh shit, okay. Do collector. Craft. It's okay, we're gonna use that duct tape anyway. Six more seconds. Let's give that a repair. There's our do collector. You know, these things make heat. And over the course of the day, it'll also give us, it'll give us three murky water. Okay, we need... We need a cooking pot. We also need two more books to make our forge. And we can't run. Oh, we can, but it hurts. There's a vending machine. I wonder if it works. It does. Okay, that's good to know. Pick up plants and scrap them for clay. Six clay per plant. Spear Hunter. Oh, I didn't see what that did. Okay, what did that do? No, oh, increase attack speed by 10%. Okay. Sniper. Leg shots cripple all but the strongest enemies and have a chance to dismember. Okay. And some paper. Take the chairs, you can scrap them for wood. This is a level 3 POI. We're not going in there right now. Night time is at 2200, so we have a half an hour game time, which is not very long real time. So I think we'll mosey back this way. Call this one a day. First thing in the morning, we're, our legs should be healed by then. At 60 minute days, the nights are 15 minutes long, so long as we don't do something colossally stupid, we should be healed. We're going to run back, see Rek to get paid, take another job from him, and then we're going to run around the town. Run around the town looking for forge ahead books. We need to make our forge. We need to make a workbench. We can make bicycles, but we need the workbench for that. And we need the forge to make the workbench, or find a wrench or something. But we got to make the forge before we make the workbench. That's just the, the progression, hey? Scrap that chair for wood. Paper is used. It's nighttime. That's the nighttime noise. 
Paper, you can make shotgun shells, cigars, and dynamite. We don't have the don't have the schematic to make cigars yet. You only need four pieces of paper. Pieces of paper are easy to find, and I'm not making shotgun shells because we're not going shotguns yet. So we're just going to get rid of the paper. It doesn't sell. Sell it in lots of ten or something for very little coin. I'm not going to put the torch down. That dew collector produces what's called heat and so do torches. And when the heat builds up in an area, there's a chance to spawn a pair of what we call screamers. Those are mega Karens who come over and see you and scream and all her friends run in and try to kill you. So we want to try to avoid that as much as possible. Now I told you this engine was valuable. I'll tell you why. You scrap... Engines are fairly common. Once you get a wrench, you can scrap vehicles and get an engine fairly commonly. However, you can scrap it for 20 or 30 mechanical parts. And you need mechanical parts to make a wrench. Now, the thing about that is there are certain places you can harvest them with your stone axe. But generally, you need mechanical parts to make a wrench, but you also need a wrench to get mechanical parts. So... Getting that engine and having, it, you know, the option to scrap that down for so many mechanical parts once we can make a wrench is great. That's a great option. I'm not going to scrap it right now, just in case we get lucky and are able to find the four mechanical parts we need once we're able to make a wrench. So, I'm calling this day, aside from the sprain, a success. And tomorrow we're going to go get paid. We're going to go take a tour around the town, read some books, hopefully be able to make our forge and our bicycle. We're two books away from Forge, we're seven books away from Workbench, we can make the, bi the bicycle. And we're 13 books away from being able to make a mini bike. So, that's for tomorrow. Thanks for coming along with me. If you want to play along, we are on the pre-gen 8k2 map. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. I love talking to you. Maybe hit a like, hit notifications, and give a subscribe if you like. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>